Good morning. Let you guys get on here. Hopefully, we'll stay on the air today. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait till a few of you get <clears throat> signed on here. But uh, glad you're on here. We don't know how long this is gonna last. Uh, <clears throat> um, YouTube censored me. Yep, I've been booted off of YouTube from yesterday's devotion. <laughs> the truth that's youtube all right <laughs> no i'm not in facebook i'm i'm shocked facebook didn't boot me off yet yet all right but youtube did so you can't watch monday's devotion on youtube now they sent me out a, a warning <clears throat> sent it actually to the to the church because see what we do is we uh we post my devotions on the church site. So bad church, bad, bad. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I wonder, you know, I wonder, uh, it's a church, right? So it's under the church site. Would that not be, you know, it's maybe a little different than uh, just as an individual, as a, as a church, you know, first amendment, I know the constitution is just a piece of toilet paper to the liberals today, but, uh, maybe there's a judge out there. Maybe we could sue YouTube for about $7 billion and, uh, we could spread the wealth. Man, we could, if we had $7 billion, we could make Morgan County wealthy, couldn't we? <laughs> Oh man, yep. <clears throat> I uh I should be repenting in sackcloth and ashes today. I have been censored by YouTube. Um anyway, we'll uh try not to let it bother us. I need to I need to check into Rumble. Um I don't know much about it, but I need to get on there. Maybe Rumble I can post things on there. So and we can jump off of the YouTube train and move on to rumble. So we shall see. And so it, it, uh, you know, they can't handle any of the truth. Right. So, but I, I was reading an article and I'm sure they would give these guys, I'm sure you can look it up on YouTube and you can find all kinds of people that about this article, it says that there is a tree inequity in cities. San Francisco has fewer trees than LA and they're upset. There is a tree inequity in our cities, and we need to fix this. I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, we have the flat, the, the flat earthers, you know, are going about and telling us that the earth is, is flat. Why don't those morons get in a car and take off driving, and let's see if you ever run off the edge of the world, you know, and uh, we'll just push you off, all right? So, <laughs> and then I read, I read uh, in in uh, uh, England, in the United Kingdom, the, the left, they're fighting because one of the gals that uh, she, uh, I mean, she's a liberal herself and all about the women's rights and all this junk. Well, she got upset because she said the only women have a cervix. And so now, uh, all the liberals are fighting with each other because it's mean to say that only women have a cervix. And <laughs> and speaking of men that have a cervix, I saw that we have a contender uh, in the state of Colorado running against Michael Bennett. <clears throat> and so <laughs> I got to quit. I mean, this is crazy. I, it is. It's great. North Korea fired off a ballistic missile yesterday in the Sea of Japan. And uh, so Looney Bird out there is is uh, building his ballistic missiles while our president is sitting in the tub playing with his rubber ducky. You know, it's just uh, <clears throat> Texas, you know, <clears throat> the, the, the uh, potentate president 
uh, you know, it went in against the states like Texas and Florida and said, fine, if, if you are going to be the way that you are uh, against the, the uh, uh, communistic ways of uh, uh, giving the, the, the S-H-O-T, uh, then we're going to take them away from you. So now Texas is going to a private company and buying theirs to be able to give the J-A-B to whoever wants the S-H-O-T. And so, <laughs> oh, and oh, and then I don't know, this was in a newspaper article. So I don't know that anybody has read this built this spending bill that they're 3.5 trillion or whatever, but uh, they're saying that in the part where it talks about <clears throat> climate change and they, they need to <clears throat> tax us into oblivion for climate change that, you know, they've been after animals and they've been after the farmers, agricultural, uh, anything agriculture here for a while. But it said in this, I, I, I'd like to find more proof of it, but it's saying that in the middle of this bill that there's an agricultural tax and that this ag tax is going to put a $2,600 tax on every cow and a $500 tax on every pig that, that uh, is in, in America. Uh, I mean, we, uh, we, we must... We must eat lettuce, we must eat our cauliflower, and we, we must quit eating this meat. And so... <laughs> <clears throat> well, if you don't see me after today, just stay frosty, Americans, and just be faithful, and it'll be okay, right? <laughs> <clears throat> we need to be faithful to the end. And uh, <laughs> <clears throat> this one's probably going to get tagged too. I'm sure I've been red flagged now. And uh, <clears throat> so you better get it now. Better get it now. And uh, listen now. Listen live. We, we may all have to get ham radios. Brother Walter, it's good to see you all the way they're in North Car South Carolina, and, uh, uh, you know, for us to listen to this together, we're all going to get those ham radios, shortwave radios, and we will get on there, and, and uh, we will spread the truth through the shortwaves, and we will tell people the truth, and whatever it takes, we need to do so, and uh, <clears throat> just remain faithful to the end. It says in... in uh, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Proverbs 28, verse 20, it says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Boy, do, do, we, do we see that. I mean, people just making haste to be rich. And, you know, our politicians find the easiest way to do that is just steal from you and make themselves rich. And... Um, I'm sorry, but they're not going to get anything. They, they can have all the money in the world, but what does it matter if they get all the money in the world and it's worth nothing? And so, take, fine, take it all, you know, see what we care, right? And then we can, uh, um, but this is a promise that God gives to us. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. We, we may not have much in the world standards, but we'll always have God's blessings, and so we, we, we trust that and, and we know. And then I was reminded this morning again in Psalm 33, verse 13, it says, the Lord looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. Now the sons of men has the idea, it's not just the saved, he's watching the whole world. He, he knows this lunatic in North Korea and what he's doing there. I mean, he could wipe him out easily if he wanted to. I think he gave him a you know, that shot over the bow here a while back and the dude about died, you know, he was gone for a while and now the evil little Martian is back and uh, but God could wipe him out if he wants to. He, he's just letting them bang their chest for a while and uh, our president continues to play with his little rubber ducky and 
and all of his little minions and even the press and, and YouTube and uh, whoever else, you know, that, that wants to uh, hide the truth. Well, it's all right. You know, God's got it. And uh, he, he's watching from heaven and he knows everything going on. And, uh, and, and, the, and it's un, it, it truly is, I, I don't know, it's unfathomable to understand the, the magnitude of our God and what he can do, and, and, and he is powerful, and he, he, he uh, is looking from heaven, he's watching everything going on, and, and his concern is for his own, and that's us, and so what does he want us to do? He wants us to be obedient, he wants us to walk with him, he doesn't want us, you know, going around like the rest of the world, and, you know, devising evil, I read this in Proverbs 24, verse 8, he that deviseth to do evil shall be called a, a mischievous person, a wicked, evil, vain, worthless person. I mean, that's what <clears throat> that's what those kind of characters are, and and God finds no value in them, and so we don't need to do that, and we just need to keep standing. We need to keep telling the truth, and and I can make fun of things and. And they can't handle that, and that's okay. We're still going to make fun of them, and they're, I mean, to, to imagine arguing. I, I mean, you are, people are legitimately arguing and upset by saying that only women have a cervix. I mean, how, how can you be upset about that? I mean, that that is ludicrous. There is like, the, the people have lost their minds. We have those that worshiping Mother Earth, telling us that there's such an inequity in, in the tree planting in cities and, and how the, the, you know, what, the trees, their feelings are hurt because there's not as many trees in San Fran as there is in LA. Well, I don't think either one of them need to have any trees because all they're doing is stealing the water from, from our mountains to, to water all that. Let it become the desolate desert that it's always been. And so, Y'all gonna live in the desert? Then deal with it. Dig your own cotton picking well, and 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 deal with it, and quit stealing our water. And <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, I should answer that. Maybe that's Rubber Ducky himself. Uh, well. <laughs> This will give me a headache. I don't know what they did yesterday, but the lunacy was on steroids yesterday. So, uh, you know, and and then I read I read in, in Psalm seventy, and it, it said it, it it really is my daily reminder. And, and this one's a little different. You know, I, I I laughed today and and yesterday trying to make light of things, and even today, um, we're we're in a desperate situation. And, and it is craziness that is taking place. And, and I'm sure with the things that I just said today, YouTube's probably watching, their little bots are paying attention or whatever. And so this probably won't stay on YouTube and it may end up getting booted off of Facebook. And, you know, I, I, maybe I should be better, you know, not get booted off because then you lose the, that influence, but let it be what it is. God can get the message out there anyway, but um, it's a daily reminder in Psalm 70, just five verses here in Psalm 70. And David writes this and he says, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. When, when I read this, it's almost like a psalm of desperation. And we, we are, we're, we're in a desperate time in, in, in our country, in our world. I, I mean, to you know, the BDB comes out yesterday and you know, we got a, you know, they're saying a quarter of the, uh, of the population hasn't been vaccinated. Shouldn't have said that. Haven't gotten the SHOT yet. And so, um, and we got to do better. And I, I think the number is far greater than that. I think there's a lot of people who are just quiet about it and not saying anything and moving on in their daily life. But you know, there's some desperate times coming this month. You know, people are 
are losing their jobs because of this. And, and um, we got we got wackadoodles on CNN saying we ought to pay the price for this. And I mean, he's saying no, no, that Don Lemon character, you know, no grocery stores or whatever, you know, and what is, what does he think that he's going to get in his Maserati and he's going to drive down to, to, to the green store or whatever it is. The, I don't know what those stupid store grocery stores are, but uh, the one that everything's organic, you know, and, got all the tofu and they don't serve meat because it's meat to the animals. But anyway, the, and he's just going to drive in there, get his food and he's going to walk away and get back in his Maserati and go back to his fancy mansion and, and going to look down on those that those peasants that, uh, uh, haven't done that. I, I don't know if he realizes that most of those peasants are the ones that are the multi-millions of people that own the guns and they're going to come into Don Lemon's house. They're going to whack him upside the head and they're going to take his tofu and whatever and probably eat his little Yorkie dog and and uh, the war is on. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's just crazy. We're in, we're in a desperate time and David writes this. I'm, Lord, d d you know, make haste, deliver me, you know, to make haste, help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. And that, you know, that, that too, uh, you know, just, oh, God has no business in this. And that's what that aha, aha is talking about. They're just, God, God has no control. And let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee and let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Well, God, God, God's going to be magnified whether we say it or not. So we better say it. And as believers, we ought to live it and magnify God. And then David writes in that last verse, but I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tearing. And, and, and so here, just... It is a daily reminder. God, God loves us. God will take care of us. God will meet our needs. And you, you know, it, it, uh, it's just good to know that. And, and these guys in their, their petty little censorship and, and all of that, you know, there, there's technology. We can get this word out however way that, that God wants us to God. And, and, and I, I read this and this goes right along with it. And it, and it's such a wonderful reminder that they can try to stop God, but they, they can't do anything to God. Nothing. You understand? Nothing to God. And we just need to stay true to the message. In Isaiah 55 and verse 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. <clears throat> and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it Bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. You know, here, first of all, God's word is not going to return unto him void. But secondly, I want, you to, I want you to understand something, that we're coming to a point where, where our voices are going to be cut off 
from from the, these social media platforms. They're they're doing everything they can. I'm just a little guy here. A, a few people watch this. It's not a big deal, right? But they still cut you off, right? That they, they don't want anything getting out other than what they control and what they you know why why don't they stop the porn on on YouTube? You know the uh, the porn industry promotes and and is the one that truly finances the child sex trafficking. I, I mean go trying to boot me off too isn't it so um just went blank there for a minute yeah, see I, I mean it's coming it's coming and you know and you know what i'm what i'm saying here the important thing the important thing is going to be your local church your, your local church is the one that that is going to continue to promote the truth and continue to promote the message and it's there that you're going to find your encouragement. It's there that you're going to have fellow believers that, that you know, with the protection and, and the guidance that God wants. And, and you, you, better, you, you better get with that body of believers and don't think that you're going to live like some maverick and be what God wants you to be. That's just not going to happen. You're, you'll be lost. You'll be eaten up by the devil quickly. And so you better get in the program that God has for you and and stay there and, and walk with him. And he even gives a definition of the world later on here in chapter 56, verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow, hmm, this is getting bad, isn't it? I know, I just... Anyway, um, verses 1 and 2, Isaiah 56. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment, do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. You know what? You just keep, we just remain faithful to the end, Right? And, and we stay true to the message that, that God has given us. And it does not matter. It doesn't matter what, what, what others are, are doing and, and what they're saying. And they might think that they have the majority, but God's the majority. And we're on that side. And so let's stay there. And remember, I read this also in Ephesians 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so that's where it's at. That's the devil. The devil's trying to do all this. He's the one that, he's the owner of, of these social media platforms and uh, he's he's going to try everything he can, but you know what? God's word will not return unto him void. And so and we're just going to keep telling the word and we're going to resist the devil and he'll flee from you. And we're just going to keep doing battle and uh, we'll stay true. Remain faithful. Don't give in. Don't be afraid. Tell people the truth, even when they can't handle the truth. Tell them the truth anyway, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, if not on social media, we'll see you at church, because yes, we'll still gather. And it might not be in our nice building one of these days. It might be on the riverside somewhere. And whatever it is, we'll be there together. Remain faithful. Love you guys, and uh, God bless you, and should... Ugh, I don't know yet if I'm going to be gone tomorrow or not on for the funeral, okay? So I, I don't still haven't heard from my sister when my nephew's is going to be. So just pray with me that I'll know those things. Pray for Carol Frank. Her brother uh, Chuck Bragg died yesterday, last night. They're trying to figure out a funeral for that too, Uh I don't know. It's just, you know, lost a lot of people, losing a lot of people. But hey, it only gets better for us. So God bless you guys.